Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha and the one who said all great millstone while it's truth, and also to the whole elect that's scattered abroad. I like to say, shalom, and come back here today with another great power, let's do spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So time of day lesson is a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So I like to say, shalom to all our listeners up. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So uh, Putin has uh, declared a declaration of war on the West and also NATO and I about it. And we're seeing that he's saying that he's getting ready to send 300,000 troops in Ukraine. And I had about it. So the wars, the rumors of wars are, are picking up. And I had about it. We're seeing that, you know, uh, uh, the end is being manifest right before our eyes. Also, we're seeing all these different weather patterns. You know what I'm saying? Over in uh, Puerto Rico, we've seen that that hurricane hit those islands and, and it was totally desolation. And also another one is coming, uh, I think, by next week uh, called Hurricane Hermes uh, for the Gulf Coast from Texas all the way to Florida. They don't know the, which way it would go, but that is about, you know, as we go forward, we'll see how it's, you know, things are intensifying. We're seeing that the end is being manifest. We're seeing, uh, you know, all sorts of things are happening, calamities, catastrophes, you know what I'm saying? War is constantly picking up. The beginning of what? World War Three, And also talks of what? Going nuclear, you know what I'm saying? Nuclear war. So it's nothing going back to saying. And also this new war order, it is getting ready to come into play. And out about all the signs of the times are here, the MOTB, the RFD microchip, it is here. So it would be a time of trouble that we have never seen before. Also, Jacob's trouble is getting ready to kick off. And out about it, no great death, great mourning, and great persecution. So the title of the daily lesson, once again, is a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So we can start with uh, two little uh, quick video clips. And after that, we'll put a few scriptures around and we'll close out a very quick lesson. And I hope that you get edified. More than a thousand protesters have been arrested in cities across Russia, according to a human rights organization, after President Putin announced that hundreds of thousands of military reservists could be called up to fight in Ukraine. It's the first mobilization of Russian civilians since World War II. International flights have started to sell out as people left the country. Russia has been losing ground in eastern Ukraine in recent weeks as Ukrainian troops recapture some parts. In his televised address this morning, President Putin accused the West of occupying Ukraine and engaging in nuclear blackmail. He again warned he'd use all means to protect Russia, including nuclear weapons. Our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg has this report from Moscow. Under pressure in Ukraine, Russia's president has chosen the path that is most familiar to him. Escalation. <laughs> to defend our motherland, <laughs> its sovereignty and territorial integrity for the security of our people and on the liberated territories, it is necessary to support the proposal of the Defense Ministry and Chief of General Staff to announce a partial mobilization of military reservists. Seven months after invading Ukraine, the Kremlin is calling up 300,000 reservists to support what it still calls the Special Military Operation. And from Russia's commander-in-chief, this threat to the West. Our country, too, has different weapons of destruction. In some cases, they are more modern than those of NATO. If the territorial integrity of our country is threatened, then to defend Russia and our people, we shall, of course, use all means at our disposal. I am not bluffing. So why the threat and why now? Well, in a few days' time, the Kremlin will try to annex a whole swathe of Ukrainian territory. Vladimir Putin's saber-rattling sends a message to Ukraine and to the West. Don't attack. Don't try to take those areas back. As news of mobilization spread, there were reports that flights out of Russia were selling out fast amid concern that men of fighting age would soon not be allowed to leave the country. I'm worried this is just the start, Sergei tells me, and that there could be full mobilization. 
But Margarita says that if our leaders demand this, we must do our duty. I trust Putin 100%. Later, the president met his defense minister. They've decided on mobilization because they're short of troops. So short that in prison camps across Russia, this mercenary chief, a close Putin ally, has been recruiting inmates to fight in Ukraine promising them their freedom if they serve six months with his group, Wagner, and survive. When Vilena went to visit her husband in prison a few days ago, she was told the husband, a convicted murderer, wasn't there. I said, what do you mean, not here? He's been here for 13 years, and suddenly he's gone? They told me they had no more information. A few days later, he called me from a Ukrainian number. I know for sure that my husband is in Ukraine. Even if he agreed to go there, he was sent illegally. Sending convicts into combat is against the law. Now, the Kremlin will be sending reservists to Ukraine. But in Moscow tonight, a protest against mobilization. Hundreds have been detained across the country. Not everyone in Russia is willing to stay silent about Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine and his war with the West. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow. So I'm pretty sure by now y'all heard about this. to happen and isn't it quite interesting for them to make this announcement today out of all days international day of peace hmm. for when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction comes upon them brothers and sisters key watch so i hope you enjoyed the video so we see that uh, uh putin is getting ready to try to uh annex uh certain territories of Ukraine, and I then once that happened, you know, then uh, uh, the UN also America will get involved, and I had about so he's trying to spread his territory, and I had about and it's only going to escalate, and I had about you know he's, oh, he already said he's not bluffing, and I had about so we coming upon this time a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So once things go nuclear, it will be what total desolation. You know what I'm saying? I about there's no coming back from it. You know what I'm saying? And I about that we know that all these things are getting ready to happen. And also in that last video, it's talking about Israel making Israel a a, a a a two a two a two a two part state. You know what I'm saying? With Palestine, you know, trying to divide the land. And I about it. they're coming up with a a what you call a peace uh dec dec decoration. And I about it. So when they say what peace and safety. Then total destruction will come upon us. So that Ezekiel chapter 38 war is getting ready to come uh, come into play. And also the Lord is putting the hooks and what in Russia's jaw. And out about things are what are constantly picking up. The end is being manifest. Bible prophets are jumping off the page. And also the Lord is gathering the nation. And out about the hey, we are here. And out about World War Three is getting ready to kick off. All hell is getting ready to break loose. And also the implement of what the RFD microchip wants to. Implement our RFD microchip. We knowing that all hell will break loose. That's what we're waiting on. And out about we're here. It is at the door. So the title of the day lesson once again is a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So we get started in the book of Matthew chapter twenty four. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit, and I hope that you get edified. One moment. Uh, Matthew chapter uh, twenty four and verse six. We we'll start here. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So we're seeing, you know, all these signs of the time. We're seeing they keep hollering about rumors of war. We're hearing about over in uh, 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 Iran, I mean, in uh, in Israel, you know, he's talking about making it a a, a, uh, a, a two-part state, you know, dividing the land. But we already know what's getting ready to happen, total destruction. And out about that, you know, it's getting ready to intensify. But the end is not yet. The Lord said these things will happen, but the end is it's not yet. And out about that, we're at the what? The beginning of sorrow. So let's start back up. And it, and it, and it also reads here, uh, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7 said, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. 
so that everybody we seeing that you know earthquakes is going off all, all over the place. You can't hardly keep up with all the pestilence. You know what I'm saying? We seeing pestilence and plagues. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the mirror virus, the, uh, the uh, monkey pox. You know what I'm saying? It's all sorts of uh, pestilence upon the earth. Famine. You know what I'm saying? What food shortage? You know what I'm saying? Droughts in the land. Lord said all these things will happen right before His great and glorious return. And out of body, you know what I'm saying? And what we seeing? Uh, rumors of war. We seeing. Uh, nations are rising against nations. Iran, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Israel, you know what I'm saying? We're seeing uh, Russia with, with UN and also with America, which in fact is, is Babylon the Great. We're seeing all these nations are bucking up at one another. Things are getting ready to intensify. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing that the Lord said all these things will happen. It's happening just like clockwork. So when we know that we are very close. We're measuring the time uh, diligently through what? Through the prophecy, and out of it, we know that we are very close, and out about all hell can break loose at any given time. They keep talking about what September the 24th. We don't know what may come of that date, but out about we always what watching, praying, and being so also being circumspect. And out about it, because we never know when all hell will break loose, we must be ready. And also, the Lord said He will come like a thief in the night. So now let's go to uh first Thessalonians, just a very quick lesson through the spirit. Uh, first Thessalonians chapter 5, one moment. And we'll start up at the top at verse 1. And it reads, it said, But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. We know what time it is. Verse uh, verse 2, For yourself know perfectly well that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Verse 3, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail with a woman with child, and they shall not escape so that about it. So I think it's tomorrow when they're talking about coming to an agreement with the uh, the, the two two part state. You know, trying to divide uh, Israel, the, 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 the divide the land up. But that about it will not happen. It will be what total destruction. When they say peace and safety, we are here. That Ezekiel chapter thirty eight wall is getting ready to kick off. We are here, and also uh, the destruction of what, aka Babylon the Great, is coming right behind it. Keep your eyes on Israel. And I everybody, hey, everything is getting ready to pop off. The, the Lord is moving to what? The chest pieces around. And also the end is being manifest. So now, let's go to uh let's go to Zephaniah. No, let's go to uh and also you can go to Revelation chapter 13. We knowing that right before all of this for the wars to kick off of World War Three, to really be official. We knowing that the RFD microchip, which in fact is the mark of the beast, it's got to come into play. So that Revelation chapter uh 13 verses 15 to uh, 18 is getting ready to come uh, uh, into play. When he told you uh, about December the 13th, everything is getting ready to go what digital. And I had about biting bucks. And I had about what that uh, that uh, universal basic income. All these things are coming into play. And I had about we knowing things going to start popping like uh, like popcorn. And I had about we knowing that the devil is getting ready to fill his belly. And I had about it that, hey, he has run out of time. And I had about we're in these times. A time of trouble that we have never seen before. And I about it's coming upon us. And I about it's constantly building and building. And I about it's getting ready to escalate. And I about we are here. It is at the door. So now let's go to uh, Zephaniah. One moment. Let's go to Zephaniah chapter three. Just a very quick lesson. Zephaniah chapter three. One moment. Zephaniah chapter three. One moment. One moment. Zephaniah chapter three and verse eight. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. And it reads, that, Therefore, wait ye upon me, says the Lord, until till the day that I rise up against the prey. For my determination is to gather the nation, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour uh, upon them my indignation, that righteous anger, uh, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured in the fire of my jealousy. So the Lord is getting ready to gather all the nations. And I did by the Lord is angry with the wicked each and every day. We're seeing that the Lord is constantly letting these nations rise up against one another. And I did by the Lord is lining them up to do what? To meet him in the what? The valley of uh, Jehoshaphat, uh, the valley of what? Yahweh. And I did by the Lord is, is gathering the nation. We're seeing that the what? The war drums are beating. And they're they beating what? Loud and clear. You know, and I did by, you know, for we know all hell would break loose. And, and, you know, Biden already said that he's wasn't what he wasn't what bluffing. And I did about it. You know, he is that bear. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is putting that hooks in his jaw. And I did about it. Hey, all hell is getting ready to break loose. He's getting ready to push that button. And I did about it. Hey, we already know that. You know, hey, you know that America will be destroyed. We knowing that Israel will be will be uh, uh will be destroyed. We knowing that what. 
Palestine will be destroyed. All these are Bible prophets. They are lining up like clockwork. That's why the Lord said, wait on me until I rise up against the prayer. And also, you can go to Joel chapter 3, give you a little bit more uh, edification. And I'd advise you, hey, we're here at time of trouble that we have never seen before. Jacob's trouble. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. We'll go to Joel. We'll close out in Joel. Uh, Joel chapter. No, we'll close. Let me get one more after that. Let's go to Joel chapter uh, 2. One moment. Joel chapter 2. One moment. We'll go here. One moment. Joel chapter 2. One moment. One moment. Joel chapter 2. And we'll start at the top. Joel chapter 2 and verse 1 said, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mount. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Verse 2, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountain, a great people, a strong, there has, has not been ever uh, the light, neither shall uh, be any uh, more after it, even to the years of many generations. So that it would be a time of trouble that we have never seen before in our lifetime and after. And I'd about when the Lord return, you know, he's going to return in the midst of World War Three. And I'd about, you know, it's going to be a day of gloominess, a day of darkness because of what? The IBC on this going to pivot what? This earth. And I'd about, you know, what I'm saying? it's going to be total desolation. And I'd about the Lord is getting ready to return. You know what I'm saying? And I'd about, hey, we are here, a time of trouble that we have never seen before and never see hereafter. And I'd about, this is the last generation. And I'd about, hey, the Lord's getting ready to bring that righteous, what, indignation. Of your house by Shimei Abishai. So let's start back up at uh, Joel chapter 2 and verse 3. And it reads and said, A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as, as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolation wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. And I'd about when those missiles fly, and then you know what I'm saying, that fervent heat, and I'd about it would destroy everything. You know what I'm saying? We'll be no inhabitant. And I had about a time of trouble that we have never seen before. Everything is getting ready to go what nuclear. And I had about we knowing that nothing will ever be the same again. And I had about it. Hey, Lord's getting ready to bring it. So now let's let's start back up. Joel chapter uh, uh, two and verse verse four. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Verse five. Like like the noise of chariots on on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Verse six: Before their face, the people uh, shall be much uh, pain. All faces shall gather blackness. And that, but when that time of trouble come, you know a lot of people gonna be faint or a lot of people gonna be pale. They're gonna be what travailing like a woman with child. So it's gonna be a great time of trouble. You know that that we have never seen before. Great desperation. You know, great mourning, great sorrow is it, it's right upon. When those IBC missiles fly, a lot of people are gonna be faint or they, they, they're gonna have their faith will turn into blackness. And out about the hate, the body count will be great. So now let's start back up. Joel chapter two, and we'll start back up at verse uh seven. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the uh walls like like men of war, they shall uh, march everyone in his way. And they shall not break their rank. Uh, rank, verse eight. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. And I about it. It's talking about those IBC on this. They will not miss their point. They will not miss fire. They will not collide with one another. They will hit their targets. And I about it. You know with what precision. And I'd about it. so when those IBC on missiles fly, they're gonna hit all the targets that the Lord wants them to hit. The Lord is just bring that total desolation, you know what I'm saying? Great destruction, great sorrow. And I'd about it, it's in that day they shall know that he is the Lord. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. So now let's start back up. Joel chapter 2. We'll start back up at uh verse uh we'll start back up at verse 9. They shall run, they shall run two and four. In the city, and they shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the the houses. They shall enter in 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 at the window like a thief. Uh, and also, the Lord He gonna come like a what a thief in the night. 
Ooh, so you got to always be watching and praying and being sold. So let's start back up. Joel chapter 2 and verse 10. The earth shall, uh, shall quake before them. The heavens shall, shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. So when the Lord returned, all those IBCM missiles hit in the midst of World War III. The whole foundation of the earth, the four corners of the earth will be shaken to the foundation. And out of that, it's going to be a great day. And out of that, hey, whoo, it's going to be a day that, we'll, that you have never seen before once again. And out of that, so the Lord said, for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. And out of that, hey, if we're coming upon that time. So when those IBCM missiles go to pebble the earth, it's going to rock this place to the foundation. And a great fear will fall upon a lot of people. A lot of people getting ready to die in a great number. And we cuss the warning. We are here. So now, let's start back up one moment. Let's start back up at uh, Joel chapter 2. And we'll start back up one moment. We'll start back up at verse 11. And it reads, And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. And for his camp is, is very great, for he is strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord is a is great and very terrible. And who can abide abide it? And I abide it. When the great day of the Lord come, can nobody gonna be able to stand in that day? And I abide. Lord's gonna bring everything low. And I abide it. We cut the warn you left and right. So we seeing that Putin is threatening the what the West. And what and and, and and you in and out about things are picking up. The Lord is gathering the next. We know that Russia and China are gonna be in collaboration. Also with Iran and, and uh Villasuela, Villasuela, uh also the brick nation, they're gonna come together against who? They're gonna come against what? Babylon the Great, America and out of You know, hey, it is here, and also Taiwan in China. You know, so a lot of things are popping up. Rumors of wars are all over the place. These uh, uh, weather patterns, these hurricanes are coming into play, flooding throughout America. You know what I'm saying? Earthquakes in diverse places. A lot of things are happening all across the world. It's intensified. But the Lord said these things will, will, will come, but the end is not yet. What? we at the beginning of sorrow. And out about it, it will be a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So let's go to our last and final strip. Let's go to uh, Revelation chapter 1. We'll close out here. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. And uh, just a quick lesson through the spirit. And I uh, hope that it makes sense to you. Uh, first, uh, Revelation chapter uh, 1 and verse 3. One moment. We'll, we'll, we'll close out here. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. And it reads, that, Blessed is he that readeth, and, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep, keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So let's read that again. Revelation chapter one and verse three said, blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which were written therein for the time is at hand. So the time is at hand. You know what I'm saying? A great time of trouble that we have never seen before. We read right upon judgment and also the great and glory return of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai and our salvation is very close than we yet believe. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadash. I'd like to say, Shalom.